welcome to another Nature Discovery screencast. Today we're going to be reviewing a roadside photo walk location. Uh, the date for this uh, photo walk was October 24th, 2016. Just now starting to go back and uh, go through some of the photo walks and the purpose of what we're doing today is we're going to find the, the video footage here that we could potentially use uh, in future productions. So we're going to find the gems out of uh, all this raw video here. Well, let's look at uh, our screen here. First off, let's Let's go full bore here. So we've got the whole screen being used. Let's look at our video clips and content. Um, let's spread it out a little bit so we can skim through it a little better. We can see what we're doing here a little better. There we go. Now the first video clip is of a hoverfly. Beautiful small white flowers with orange and yellow centers to them. I uh, think they're some of the latest flowers we have around this part of North Carolina. Um, that are drawing insects, uh, drawing pollinators. It's getting pretty late in the season. The nights are starting to get cool now. Most of the critters to go after and try to take their pictures are uh, not around anymore. Just a few of these pollinators on the warm day here. Some beautiful flowers. So. Let's look at what we've got. Uh, we've got the bee, the little hoverfly, flying away. And let's mark that as a favorite now. Remember what we're going to do here is we're going to go up here and then be able to look at all the, the raw video clips that uh, could potentially be used in some production at some point then. And let's look at all the clips. Let's look at this clip. What do we have here as we skim through it? We have the camera being set up. The camera searching for moving targets. And these bees are just constantly moving and flying around. Uh, camera's on a tripod to make it more steady and uh, we're trying to point the camera put it in frame compose the shot and hope that the critter <laughs> is visible and in focus and you see a lot of footage like this where this is in focus but and beautiful but uh, He's behind foreground flowers. Let's see what else we've got here in this clip. A very short time where that bee is working. And then he flies off and he's he's out of focus a little bit. Uh, do an in here and fly out. And let's mark that piece as a favorite. Who knows where we may be able to use that in the future. Um, when I'm producing videos, if uh, critters are doing very interesting things and there's a lot of movement around, and when watching the video in real time, 
It goes by so quick you say to yourself, what just happened? Then that's a video if there's interesting things happening that I can really put it into slow motion mode and uh, it really gives you an observation of a critter doing something that you just never quite see and observe because it's going too fast and by taking and slowing that piece of video down remember I'm dealing with 60 frames per second so I can slow a piece of video down to about 5% of its original speed very slow motion and you're seeing at 60 frames per second uh, originally when this uh, video was shot it makes for a very good slow motion and literally you can take three seconds of video and turn it into a 30 second uh, observation video that uh, allows you to really observe something that you don't normally see but because it just happens so quick I, I wasn't there with a microscope <laughs> Uh, to really look at the action and with our telephoto lenses on our cameras today it's almost as if we're putting these critters on a microscope and and watching and observing here and that's what I love doing with the videos is being able to pull out um, critters in action and uh, turn them into little video clips even though it's in real time. Let's look at this real time here. It's going by pretty quick and he's gone. Yet, uh, if we review one frame at a time here, we get a better view of what, what he did, the preparation for takeoff, the uh, use of the legs for uh, accelerating out, you might say. The way he's looking around to see where he's going. Uh, Alright, so let's mark off the in and out of that clip. And now we move to another clip. Now, we're standing alongside a rural road and uh, occasionally there's traffic going by behind us. Um, the wind is blowing pretty hard. <laughs> and your critters are sitting on beautiful flowers. But those flowers are moving. So we're using a tripod to stabilize the camera as best we can. But the critters are flying from flower to flower to flower. And the flowers are moving all over the place. So when you're zoomed in with your telephoto lens, and I'm literally standing 8 to 10 feet away from these critters, and uh, my camera is a 50 times optical zoom, so I can zoom in and focus, and at, at full zoom like that, um, it's really hard when they're moving in the wind to, to try to to uh, get a good piece of video. Uh, you can stabilize video as it's blowing around like this. If we want to try to use this video for something, it, it's a beautiful shot of the uh, coloration of this this hoverfly here. Uh, uh, we can use it for uh, just identification. Um, even though the thing's blowing around. The other trick is if, if you have footage like this that you want to use, is a very slow motion, it becomes sometimes an acceptable amount of uh, movement and sometimes not. I think uh, 
this little guy just going all over the place. I'm just going to delete this. Beautiful little critter, but I don't know that we can really use that. Here he is again, sitting a little more still. Bush is moving just enough that it's fooling the camera sometimes. Going out of focus a little bit, but we've got a little more to kind of work with here. A little more we can do. Let's look at the skim, just skim the whole clip quick. So he's sitting there flying away. So he does a spell of sitting here that he's in focus. He does some flying away. But the camera's focusing on flowers otherwise and not quite in focus. Camera's moving a little too much, so I don't know we're going to really be able to use some of that footage. It is fly off here. Mark that as an out point. Mark it as a favorite. Okay. One of the very last butterflies of the season. I think we managed to see them here. Uh, just moving constantly. Um, <laughs> around only briefly in perfect camera range. Hiding behind other vegetation. Pretty far away from them. This might have been 20 feet away fully zoomed in with my 50 times optical zoom. He's off the top of the frame. Sometimes when the, the video clip isn't quite going to do it, I look for things like this. Is there a place where we can do I'm just gonna I'm gonna take and we might be able to do a screen grab from him with some cropping and stuff. Shows us the butterfly in flight in his body. So I'm gonna just mark that off as a favorite. Sometimes we can see critters in video and in a frame of video doing things that you would never be able to take a photo of as the critters flying away and you're trying to get photos of them. Uh, taking a photo of a critter is extremely hit and miss sometimes. You can even set up your camera that'll do a burst of photos uh, milliseconds apart from each other. And then you end up with this burst of five photos or whatever. And you hope that one of those photos captures the, the action in the video a little bit. But with uh, video, and at 60 frames per second, that means you have 60 frames of HD content to, to really work with. And sometimes you can get some pretty cool photos out of that. It doesn't have uh, the sharpness and clarity of the photo taken with your camera, but uh, oftentimes action photos, you just never would get that, that action unless you're, you're doing a screen grab and you're actually taking a photo of a frame of video.
and then you can use that photo in your photo editing software. Uh, let's look at this. Beautiful little skipper butterfly here doing his thing. Camera's focusing on the flowers sometimes instead of the skipper, <laughs> which happens when things are so small sometimes and uh, the wind's blowing and moving everything. Just a little too much of in and out focus. And just gonna move that to the trash. Sometimes we put a lot of things on the cutting room floor out of a photo walk. And we have this beautiful little bee here, just working those flowers. Look at all the pollen accumulated, and he flies off. And there's a little bit of the. Oh, okay. We've got. Uh, what else do we have here? We. Uh, go backwards here. So we've got a hoverfly, a honeybee, and this beautiful little bee in the forefront. So let's mark it as an endpoint. And the bee comes in, the other bees leave. The bees working the flower. I'm going to be able to crop this video and even do a what they call a Ken Burns effect where I can kind of uh, do some camera movement motion and zooming in and out. And uh, so I think this, this video here um, I can make look better than, than what I've got here. Uh, could be an interesting little 30 second video showing the three different kinds of uh, pollinator there, the hoverfly, the honeybee, and this, uh, this guy here which we'll, we'll identify before we uh, publish the video. Just love the way he takes off and moves there. He's off. Okay, so we'll mark that as a favorite. Okay. Bees back behind <laughs> other flowers. Always kind of behind something. Following them around a little bit. Following bees around means the camera has to focus and it sometimes focuses on some other flower somewhere in the shot <laughs> and he's not quite in focus there is he well we're just gonna move on here let's see well, we got our little hoverfly He's just working the pollen off of those flowers. Just love the way these little critters work. Looks like a flexible hose vacuum cleaner <laughs> attached to his snout, and he's just sucking up that pollen. Aid is moving around with the trees above blowing in the wind. But I'm going to mark that whole clip as a favorite. We can see what we can do with that in a clip. Now here's another bee. Interesting coloration. Part of what I'm trying to do is my overall uh, work here is collect photos and video clips of species of critters out there. And uh, sometimes the uh, observation videos I create, the little 30 second videos, when taken 
individually give you a quick snapshot of that that critter how it moves and what it does and hopefully over time uh, where it lives <laughs> what it eats how it mates what the differences are between the males and the females just uh, a collection of information photos and video clips that when taken as a collection are far more far more insightful and with video you can piece it together into one video so you can tell a story with videos and what we're looking at here is just one piece of a, a story about this this uh, beautiful little insect here on these beautiful little flowers so let's do an in and he just working, working, working. Focus there. So let's just do it out there, and I will mark that as a favorite. there long enough <laughs> and behind plant all right now we've got a tiny little insect here well that shadow moving around is just uh, Blowing out the camera a little bit with the harsh, harsh lighting and the fact that uh, shadows are moving around, tricking the camera and stuff. All right. So let's take a look at our favorites here now. Let's uh, go ahead and just. Uh, review our findings for this photo walk, for this roadside photo walk. 